Sister, the next case where we get now from complainant Martin Oliver Ndubisi, mm. the respondent is Reverend Father Nicholas Peter Wanzi. Case type, breach of trust. Case narration, he alleged that the Reverend Father Nicholas introduced him to a business. Oh, that dollar dollar business? Yes, sir. Abroad, abroad? Yes, sir. Uh, when I don't reach out to Reverend Father Nicholas? Many times. Okay. Oh, sir, sir. I did. Oh, yeah, talk to me now. Uh, ordinary president, I tried many times. First, the first number where they give me for Reverend Father, all the Nigerian numbers, no one they go. They can't give me one in, uh, England number. As I call, first one, that one claims say him be 12 years old. Say, you no, know, even they, they never born him when the matter happened. Mm. They gave me a third, uh, a third number now, will be UK number also. So I called severally, I sent message, you know, and, and I feel say that last number, where they give me, mm. na Reverend Father number. Reverend Father Nicholas. Mm, na number, that last one where they give you me. You don't reach out to them? I don't call, I don't send messages, you no know, reply. Okay, then let's do the case. Oh yeah, mm. what will be your name, sir? My name is... Uh, Martin Oliver Ndubisi Oseyama. Mm -hmm. I am from. Which state are you from? Enugu State. Which local government? Ezag local government. Which village? Mbabuwa local government. Where are you in a church today? For St. Paul's Catholic Church, Ozumu Mbabuwa. And I hear say you they go uh, that uh, they, they carry you uh, go that church. Right from when you did small? Yes. Till you can't grow? Yes, sir. Talk, tell us your story. So, I live in Japan. Then, uh, year 2011, I came back to the village. Then, as I was going to the church... You've been staying for... You've been there live for Japan? I live in Japan up till now. Up till now? Yes, sir. How many years you don't stay for Japan? I stay... I live for 26 years. Which person you, you carry complain come against? I come to complain against the Reverend Father Nicholas Wanze, Peter, watching him, Elias Ezibo. Elias? Ezibo. Reverend Father, they get Elias? <laughs> Guy, man. Tell us the story. Okay, sir. Um, that was 2011. I came back to the village as Christmas time. Then I met him in the church as a, our reverend priest at St. Paul's Catholic Church. In hey, fact, hold on. Okay. The Senate President distinguished, no, not distinguished now. Senator Akpabio must apologize to Nigerians. People where they close to Senator Akpabio, the Senate President, should tell him that the ordinary president is asking him that as a matter a matter of urgency and importance, he should apologize to all Nigerians. That is the message. Continue. So I came to the village. That was 2011. After you don't stay how many years for Japan? 20-something years. 20-something years in Japan. After you don't stay for 20-something years? Yes. Now you can't come back home? No, I just come back for Christmas. Uh, you can't come for Christmas? Yes, sir. That is which year? That was 2011. So as you can't come village, what can happen? Then... I go to the church as normal church service. The same church where you they go, See, right from where you, you be small picking. Yes, sir. So, I, after the church service, because in our village, they know me very well in our village. So, and the Reverend Father might have been hearing my name. So, he approached me, and um, we become friends. As our Catholic Reverend Father. So oh, nine be, nine day in charge of the Catholic Church. Uh, the parish. The parish. Is the yeah, is the parish priest. Nine be the parish priest. Exactly. So you come uh -huh. So we become kind of a friend. 
that was 2011. Then, on from there, uh, we entered 2012. He told me that there is a business that his uh, co parish member is producing security doors in China. Hmm. That I should invest only fifty thousand hmm. dollars. I said okay, no problem. Then after the Christmas, we came back to Lagos. He traveled to China. That was maybe February or March. He traveled to China. He called me. I was still in Nigeria because I came back from Japan. Mm -hmm. I was still in Nigeria. So he called me that I should send him 50, the $50,000 to China. Then he directed me to uh, Bureau de Change at International Airport. The Lagos. Of, yes, Lagos. The name of the Bureau de Change is uh, Antas uh, Express Transactions. When you give them dollar cash, they will give the person dollar in China. That's how they operate. I went by myself. I with, with fifty thousand dollars cash, I gave it to them. They gave me receipt. Then, within few days, he called me that he had received the money. Hmm. So, I said okay. Then I prepared. That was March, twenty twelve. Fifth March, twenty twelve. I gave him the money. Then, I traveled back to Japan. When I traveled back to Japan, he told me that he called me on phone that the production have started. I said, okay. From there, he, he said I should send him some money again. Then I, I sent him the money through Western Union in bit by bit. But the total money I sent to him to China is that 3000 Four hundred and five dollars mm. ninety-eight pence. The so all money. together now. Yes. All together now. Yes, sir. The money where you sent to Ramna, how much? Okay. All together, the money I sent to him is eight three thousand four hundred and five dollars ninety-eight pence. This is over a hundred million naira today. If you calculate it by one six, it's about one hundred and thirty-three million. 103 million 449,568 naira continue sir so after giving him the money or sending him all the, the money i could not hear from him anymore uh -uh. wait after sending him the the whole money i i gave him 50,000 in nigeria then i went back to japan mm. i sent him bit by bit through Western because Union. Because you cannot send it at once. Yes, exactly, sir. So, after sending him all this money, he stopped communicating with me. <sighs> Before then, he called me to send either his sister or his uh, friend 470,000 naira. In Nigeria, here? Yeah. In Nigeria. Did you? I instructed my boy, because I wasn't in Nigeria when he, when he called me. So, I instructed my boys to send him the money. And they did? They did. 170,000 naira. Do you have the account number? Mm, I don't know. You know, this uh, 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 pay slip it used to clear. Uh, no. I only have the account. Not before, from your account, the sender? No. It wasn't easy like that, sir. You know, they go to the bank. You, 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 you they take carry cash. cash. The yes. Oh, okay, so continue, bank. continue. So, after sending him all this money, he stopped communicating with me. I called his China number, no contact anymore. I sent message, no contact anymore. I started searching for him. Mm -mm. I searched Wait till you talk, say be his name again. You go repeat his name three times. Okay, sir. Reverend Father Nicholas Mwanze Peter Wachina Mere Elias Ezubo. 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 That is truth. Yes. Good no, good, oh, man. good man. It's, it's a good man. Yes. Yeah. Good okay, man. it's a good man. Did you repeat, repeat him again? Reverend Father Nicholas Mwanze, Peter, watching the mirror. Elias Ezubo. From Nkerefi. From, yeah. from Nkerefi. Which state Enugu is he from? State. Enugu state. From which local government? I don't know the local government. I know you only in Kerefi. What's the name of your village? I don't know, sir. 
the name of him parish the parish way in the overseas for uh, where? okay for my village yes okay saint paul's catholic church i thought he's in the village no in the village okay my the parish he was parishing in my town is saint paul's catholic church Okay. But the name of your village for Enugu now with you. In Kerefi. In Kerefi. Yes, sir. Ah, ah. Which year you give him this money? That was 2012. Since 2012. No you don't hear from uh, Reverend Father. Reverend Father Nicholas once a Peter watching a mere earlier says. I didn't hear from him anymore. Up to this time. Why you no report to the church? You know, I, I, because of the money he collected from me, I lose my house in uh, at first act. I lose my house at first act. A one close, house number uh, house number three. I lose there. You sell them? I didn't sell it. I lose it from because I when I gave him that fifty thousand dollars, I borrowed it from a uh, person. Oh, then no. I gave it to him. So they, I, they now seized your house? Yes, sir. Then I lose the house. On all these years, I was very sick because I fall sick. I couldn't be able to cope anymore because it's like all the whole struggle. I left, all the whole struggle I labored in Japan. I lose all of them. Because to a reverend family. father? Yes, sir. We carry a, a alias, a woman. Yes. It's a bomb, mad. So that was what happened. I just tried to. So look. instead of it's now, now I do. 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 Okay, thank you. Ah, ah. ah. So continue. You know, report unto the church. I did not go to the church because I was I fall sick for years. Mm -mm. So the shock. I, the shock is too much for me. So where and where you don't report and before you carry the matter come break. I one of my friends because I went back to Japan, you know. So I told one of my friends he should go to bishop. My friend went to the bishop with the report and the, they gave him an appointment to on in one in one month time. To that come. my friend live in Abuja here. So to come, yes sir. So one more time, he went back. The Reverend Father, because when you go to the bishop, it's Reverend Father that is the reception is <laughs> there. So they, they told him that the bishop cannot see any more anybody. That that very day, they gave him an appointment. Then uh -uh. he get tired and he did not go back anymore. That's wait, that. wait, wait. I know Percy will go carry you go see bishop. Today, today, by the grace of God. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. Not be only God, it is impossible to see. Hmm. People, they see president and bishop, they no go see. And if, if it be said the bishop, no be, no be, no be that kind of person, no. This kind of people, where they around big men. Now, where you don't talk on now, the Catholics, where they hear, they go, they, they go, go investigate this matter. You, not Catholic, you be. Yes, sir. The person, where do you? Na Catholic he be. Reverend Father. And na Reverend Father. Yes, na sir. parish head he be. Yes, sir. Na be the, what they the, the, the call parish head? Parish, parish priest of which which parish? St. Paul Catholic Church, Ozumum Babo, exactly local government. And he be parish priest of uh, that parish for, for, yes. her, for how long? I, I don't know exactly. For many years? For many years, yes, yes sir. Now, he do on this thing. This person carry the matter. Say, make the help him. Make Bishop uh, Abi look into the matter. They can't give one month notice. Now, on the day when they suppose meet, may they settle this matter. They say, Bishop say, Bishop Stock say, he no go see anybody today. So continue. As your so, friend tired for here. As he tired, he did not go back anymore. Mm. Then I was sick. I cannot be able to look for him. I was I cannot be able to go to any place because I went back to Japan. I stayed in Japan. 
So I went back to Japan and started my life. I started from scratch again. So it is just this this year that I came back after how many, many years I stayed in Japan. Then I said for me to go to any other place, I should come to to break the family to help me and recover my money. So that is why I'm here. Okay. You get justice by the grace of God. Thanks. Agnes Oluade is a my honorary president. A man killed his 10 years old son yesterday because he said the boy stole his 100 naira. He forced him to drink petrol yeah. and serious beating and he passed away. Please, uh, Agnes Oluade, tell us the location so we can swing into action immediately. Thank you very much. Poverty. There is hardship. But no matter how hard it is, give petrol to your own child. son. 100 naira. You go explain. So, uh, Consultant Ike. Yes, sir. Carry the microphone. Yes, ordinary president. Uh, Tari, na pesi we, na katliki bi. Uh, and yes, and he get access to the bishop. Uh. I don't know whether because this one where the one spoiled bishop named talk say for serious matter. We, you so know, bishop no go greasy. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Mm, no. All no. this man life saving. What him be bishop? And you know this man talk mm. say eh? What him make he, him way don't get exposure abroad? He say another person for no tell him this kind thing make he even give him ten thousand dollars. He say because this na the church where he grow inside. And a father. In and a father and now be the a parish priest. Of the church when they go, a Catholic church for that matter. All the Catholics when they hear me, I challenge all of them. Uh, Do or, something. Ordinary president, yes. you know say get church where you go be. I no go too surprised. Mm. But Catholic, for any person to become father, I know say the minimum way they take now about seven years of training. Mm. I don't know whether I get them. Uh, yeah, seven, ten, eleven uh, yes, years. Yes, minimum, seven. Seven years. And uh, which means the person must have gone through a lot of training and indoctrination, proof of character and all the rest of them. And uh, it, I, it, the thing surprised oh, me. Garanya. Yes, sir. I guess somebody online. Yes, hello, sir. hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Nahumi and I'm the Vano for radio and TV telephone. Uh, is my name. Ah, senior citizen. Make we appreciate my elder <laughs> brother. Yes, sir. Call Bishop Hatsamachukuka. You will assist. Mm -hmm. You will intervene successfully. Okay, now hold on. number and call him. Yeah. Hold on before you go. Okay. You say your name now. <laughs> Which means you are a Muslim. Yes, yes, I am. Both front and back. Exactly. Your grandparents Muslim. Exactly. Your great grandparents Muslims. Exactly. Now you call in now because you get confidence in a Christian Hassan, where you. Bishop Hassan Machu Kuka, very honest, straightforward, trustworthy, sincere. Hey! In one day. Look, we appreciate ourselves. <laughs> Of this country. Eh? Saying this honestly. Now, Muslim, they talk, say, if they wish, say, make Bishop Kuka. Matthew Kuka. To become the president of this country. Yes, sir. Forget about religion. Mm. Forget about uh, religion affiliation, affiliation, tribal affiliation. Look, if a pagan no, can open lead up. us successfully and provide him, mm. we are tired. This religion, this tribe, we are tired. We are tried Muslims. We are tried Christians. We are tried people. I am tired. We are the driver. We need the... solution. You go come we back. We need solution and give in back. country. We should put sentiment apart and do the right thing. But this time around, Nigerians have learned their lesson in a hard way. 
So let's see what will happen. We'll do the right thing. Okay. At but least we are at the very end now. So now, uh, oh, the, what, uh, what the lesson, the lesson where we take out of this, mm -hmm. not be 2027, mm -hmm. no. Now the fact say, a senior citizen, a Muslim, now a cat, a Christian, and a Catholic, he, he dupe a fellow Christian and a Catholic. Now a Muslim called in to say he knows a Christian, another Christian, a Catholic, Abi, yes, that that is honest, trustworthy straightforward and he's even wishing and, and honest wishing that such a person can become the president of this country it means we are getting somewhere let's appreciate ourselves thank you thank you i've been get bishop uh, kuka matthew kuka number before but i don't get him now i shall say before you Ten minutes. I go don't get uh, in number. Thank you. Yes, cause that I give be they talk something. Sorry, Nadi. We call make me interrupt you, sir. Uh, no problem, ordinary president. I was saying it gets there some kind churches where we say if I hear saying a uh, priest for that church do this one, I no go too surprised. Uh, but for a priest from a reverend uh, from a Catholic church, that no means say uh, every priest for Catholic church na angelo. But mm -hmm. the reason why they talk and be say the time it takes for them to be trained to become a priest and be ordained takes much longer time that if a person will come with deceit, will come with pretenses, mm -hmm. it's a day easy for them. To but run any person away. yes, but any person will come pretend past these seven years or more of training come become ordained as priest, that person really don't perfect the art of pretense, assuming what in it they talk not true, mm. because we never hear from mm. the father. This one not just assuming. If he be say what in it talk, no be as it happen, but at least thank God they don't talk. Opportunity don't they make the father come talk in own side. Thank you very much. What in be the title where they take talk before they talk reverend name? A bishop name. It's bishop. It's just bishop. And uh, nothing like uh, his lordship. Mm, his lordship. Most uh, reverend. Eh? His lordship. Huh? Uh -huh. I no one do mistake. Me and a Muslim I be. You understand? And uh, if I see, um, if I come across honest ustaz, I know. No, we will. Mele Ahmed. Mele Ahmed. They were to be met and the Mukai, Muku Stadium Dako. Well, let them know in a See this one Christian to Christian. Mekuna no say this religion thing. They, they use, use them most of the times to deceive una. Parish priest, 419, allegedly. Since that time, you know, Guri picking call again. You thank God, say you know, die you. Because some people, this kind of shock, from there, BP go rise, stroke, stroke, from stroke, paralysis, paralysis, death. But now your, now your enemy will die by the grace of God. Amen. So, Garanya, yes, sir. call somebody to give us uh, uh, his lordship, uh, Bishop uh, Matthew Kuka, Kuka number. You get him? No, someone gave it to me. Go, talk to, talk to. Uh, someone just gave it to me, but we are not sure. Yes, I'll forward it to Kuka. Okay, instead in of us to mess mm. ourselves up yes, on sir. Air, mm. after the program. Um, consultant Ike, you and that is Carford Unago call uh, his lordship, uh, Bishop uh, Matthew Hassan Kuka. Make we report this matter to them, okay, sir? Thank you, thank, thank you, sir. You can go back to your seat, sir. okay, sir? Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks. Be strong, go okay, so sir. that when this money will come, 
you go enjoy them. And no be that rate we go use now present rate 100 1600 and something. Uh -huh. If you drop down 1005 something we go use them. If you reach uh, God forbid 1900 we go use them. <laughs> It's a good for me. <laughs>